Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss thermal 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reactions. Despite what we have learned that 2 plus 2 cycloadditions are thermally not allowed, there are certain examples where 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reactions are thermally allowed. These examples are 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction of alkene with ketene to form cyclobutanone and 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction of alkene with isocyanate to produce beta lactam. In this lecture, we will discuss homolumo interaction between alkene and ketene to explain feasibility of the reaction under thermal condition. Similar ex explanation can be given for the reaction between alkene and isocyanate. In a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition between alkene and ketene, Homo of alkene interacts with the lumo of ketene. Ketene has two pi bonds to the same carbon atom lying perpendicular to each other. The structure of homo of alkene and lumo of ketene can be shown as The homo of alkene and lumo of alkenic part of ketene have different symmetries. So, the allowed bonding interaction will be supra and tara. To achieve this bonding, homo and lumo must be perpendicular to each other. To understand this bonding more clearly, let's turn the homo of alkene 90 degrees around the axis and then put the lumo of alkenic part of alkene, lumo of alkenic part of ketene on the top of homo of alkene and at 90 degrees to it so that there is possibility of bonding interaction on both the ends. If you look at this arrangement there are two bonding interactions and two anti-bonding interactions. So overall there is no net bonding. Now, put the extra p orbital from carbonyl pi bond to one end of lumo at right angle to it so that both the orbitals of the homo can bond to the bottom part of this extra p orbital. We can understand this bonding more clearly by three dimensional representation. Now, there are net bonding interactions because there are four bonding interactions but only two anti bonding. This makes the reaction favorable under thermal condition. Thank you.